Well, here we are. Along with Dawn here in Sheffield. A lot of refurbishments over the years here, a lot of redevelopment. You can see there's an old building there, partially there with a new flat next door. Probably looking for a renovation. Home offices around here as well. Nursery Street across the road there in Sheffield. Got a bridge across here, which is handy. Because I'm trying to come down from the cathedral. <laughs> Takes a bit of a, a twist and turn to come down to find this road because you've got to come down various roads, come straight down very steep slopes. All built on a hill across Sheffield. But here we are, looking across to Stanage Edge here, on the Derbyshire border. Surprise view over there. Actually, seems like it's getting a bit hazy. A bit more autumnal, but it's actually August. So we're beginning, beginning of August, so it should well be really good weather for the summer. But we've had some sun this summer, but been a bit wet and cooler lately, which is... That's to expect it for, expect it for a, a British summer, where normally you can get all types of weather at any time, so beware, but I certainly haven't brought a coat. There we are, looking across to surprise you over Derbyshire, the Derbyshire border. Close to here, we're right near Fox House, which is just over there behind those trees. There we are, the old coaching in there. Down a change there. Now there's also Carl Walk and Higgy Point, I believe. Well, I've also heard of a Giddy Edge, I think. Whether that's just local myth, I don't know. The Sheffield Derbyshire border. Down towards Ponds Forge there. The old post office to the Left there. Now all part of the university. This building was a bit derelict for time. I think they've been doing that. This is uh, Fitzalan Square in front of me. A lot of redevelopments going on here. In the centre of Sheffield. This is Knowledge Gateway. All the information's here. Should have been finished in July 2019, but they're a bit behind schedule, should we say. There we are. The project will improve links between several key destinations, such as the Cultural Industries Quarter, Digital Campus and Sheffield Hallam University between potential development sites. It will ha enhance accessibility and safety as well as the environment in, in order to encourage new investment and jobs in the area with po significant potential for growth. Key locations such as Fitzalan Square and streets such as Esperanto Place and Paternoster Row will be transformed as part of the project. So watch this space and the surrounding area. The project, uh, project has been jointly funded by Sheffield City Region Combined Authority, Sheffield Hallam University and Sheffield City Council. There we are. Shall be on PR schedule there. You see what's going to potentially look like. Artist impression there. Looking across there you can see now this used to be a Actually, a taxi rank really, and a seating area, but there was usually a lot of rubbish left around here, and some people were, would not respect the, uh, the fact that there was a bit of a focal point there, but not quite to the extent of the Peace Guard just up the road in the main part of the city centre. Taxi rank, there's a road going around, I think probably they closed that off now, you should be able to drive around from the uh, turning to the left off. The hill there and straight around. Mainly buses and taxis use the road. You see busy bus thoroughfare here. Trams down the road there as well. Fitzalan Square as well here. 
The old market was just down there, which is now down the moor. Probably about what? 10 minute walk from here. Things to uh, trams, I should say, to Hillsborough as well as Meadow Hall, up to Castle Square here as well. On this bright summer's evening here in the centre of Sheffield. Well, I've still got a few of the old buildings left. A little modernisation over the years, though. A lot of work going on over the years. A lot of investment. And a very, very good bus service. Ponds Forge down there as well. Another centre. Various places. There's Wetherspoons as well here as well. This is Sheffield City Centre. See the trams running. I think they go until about 11 o'clock at night or so, probably a bit after weekends. There we are. Both leaving at the same time there. There we are. Metro Centre. I get back by better or even get it right. Choosing my links with the northeast, so I'm getting confused with um, Gate Centre. Well, this is Sheffield, so it's Meadow Hall, probably about three miles away from here. Well, this spoon's over there, the Banker's Draft, and the station. The bus interchange, well, it's probably a five minute walk round to my right and straight on. This is Sheffield City Centre, there we are. We've been quite an interesting city. Sun's out here. Mixture of buildings. The Meadow Hall on the trams and Hillsborough the other way. You also get out to a place. These crystal peaks are out of the city. Can go, I think, it's as much as seven, eight miles out of the city. Being a large city, this is Sheffield city centre there. A run the gate up this way to the left, straight along where the bus to stop, the shops, etc., offices, and up by the Crucible Theatre, the home of the World Championship Snooker. We'll see this area on television at least probably half a dozen times. Yeah, in Sheffield, well, there we are. It's up that way, up on the right. Crucible Theatre, a run the gate here. In Sheffield. Here we are. Power up by Fargate here. Draw the peace guns up there. And on High Street, which goes up to West Street, and we've even got a new tram here. Now, big question is are they British made? Well, there we are, got Marks and Spencers up there, the all important Marks and Spencers. Tram's about to go there to halfway. There we are, that's like a brand new tram there. There we are. The other ones, of course it could be 12 months old, we don't know. I don't come here very often, but certainly the other ones have got to be at least probably 24, 25 years old, I'd say. I think they put the tramway in about 1993, 94. And to my right, we have Sheffield Cathedral. Not too much around here, and also, well, visitors, students, a lot of Chinese around, and various other cultures. Very multicultural. I have been told you get every culture here in Sheffield. So, a French lady today who's been here about a year, up from London, and uh, well, there's a cathedral here. Different architectural styles. You've got the, art, get the Gothic style to the right here, but section there, which is more modern. I think that's due to bombing. The city was bombed quite heavily. The Germans were trying to take out the steelworks during World War II. Sheffield Cathedral here. St. James Row up there. Pump there, the church house. And Cutler's Hall here. There we are. Reminder of the Sheffield steel industry. Very important to the city. Cathedral trams up there. They are still making cutlery here as well, but just not with the same amount of production processes due to modern technology. It's a lot less facilities, 
but they're actually making more steel, I believe. This is Sheffield City Centre. St James Road there. Well, I used to have a quick look. Another tram here, that's the older tram. I think. Good couple of decades old now. Sheffield Super Tram, back to Meadow Hall Shopping Centre now. We've got an old building here, the remains there off. There we are, 1795. It's the original building, it's been there since then. Well, there you are, White and Sons, late Thomas Alden, 1795. Up towards West Street here, to the left is Leopold Street, down to Peace Gardens, Sheffield City Centre. Leopold Street there. Turn towards council offices there, these guns. And there is West Street up that way. Various regeneration products have taken place over the years. But some old buildings unfortunately were demolished just up there. But we preserved a few of them around here. It wasn't what wasn't bombed sometimes it was knocked down for regeneration in the 60s and 70s but complete wrong decisions of course because it meant every 10 years you had to replace the buildings because they were just cheap and didn't fit in there we have a new tram there right to Malian Bridge there all the new trams here in Sheffield so Sheffield super tram there we are here in Sheffield in South Yorkshire out to Malian Bridge. It also goes out that way to Meadow Hall. Beg your pardon, to, to uh, Hillsborough. Whereas the other way, it's Meadow Hall, beg your pardon. That is the tram to Malian Bridge, but also that way goes out to Hillsborough. In fact, I think that tram goes through Hillsborough, the new trams in Sheffield. Whereas that way is halfway, and it's halfway down to the right down there. And to the left is Meadow Hall. Get bearings right here. Church Street and Leopold Street across there. This is Sheffield. First modern buildings here, new and old here. A lot of regeneration over the last 10 or 15 years. Pinpole Street over there. It's a crane up there as well. Well, here we are on Liverpool Street and we have Leopold Hotel here. Complete with the Range Rover outside. Probably wait to pick somebody up there. A lot of refurbishments and regeneration have gone on within this complex here. There's bars in there, restaurants, etc. Certainly went there about 10 years ago. 52 route here. And to Woodhouse. Bars, restaurants, and somebody's. In the street there. There we are, that was all closed off. I think it's for a, regenerated for a lot of wrangling with the council, probably. Certainly uh, wouldn't open the public before. As you can see, lovely old building in there. Leopold Square. There's some more shops around here. Orchard Square here to the left. There we are. And modern office block there going down towards the heart of the city down to the Peace Gardens here in Sheffield, city centre. Twenty past seven here, in the centre of Sheffield. Pinstone Street, linking up with Surrey Street down there, which takes you down to the Winter Gardens. Crucible Theatre to the left, Library Street head there, an art gallery. This is central Sheffield. Barker's Pool up there. See the fairs in town for the summer holidays. The War Memorial up there and John Lewis, which actually relocating down to the mall. This is the old 
building here. I'm working on this part of the city along to the Peace Gardens. Here in the centre of Sheffield in South Yorkshire. Well, there's some parts of the airport won't be a, a lot going on. So, see all the fairs here and everything else. Peace Gardens over to my left. I'm building a new shopping centre down more, which is all the area just down the, the hill there. Usually when Sheffield's on the television, on national television, they usually show either the Peace Gardens or the, the council buildings here, dominating the scene, this building. Hotels. That's Mercure down there, I believe. You can see. All ready for the. Probably summer tourist trade and also the school holidays, which are now on. I've been probably the last week or so. Sheffield City Centre here. Here we are in the centre of Sheffield, Peace Gardens. St Paul's Parade here to my right. And down the moor there, there's what's going on here. And also, looks like this building to my right is undergoing demolition. Well, just look like a lovely old building there. Some nice architecture. Well, it's finished there, but looks like it's properly See the last tenants there, as you can see, all section north there. Well, could be another new building here soon. Looks like it should be preserved. Another building over to the right looks like could have a precarious future. Looks like an old church. Ecclesiastical appearance there. In fact, it was. It's previously the Salvation Army, because you can see it there. Set in stone there, Salvation Army, next to the co op bank there. Well, there we are. I've been knocking down quite a few buildings over the years, the new roads and uh, sh other shops, etc., flats, etc., rightly or wrongly. You can see part of it there on the skyline. There we are, well, we've got demolition times there, so looks like Gallifer Try or uh, can demolish it. Sad, really. It looks like quite a character building there, as you can see. Nice. Sort of boiled up there as well. Looks like probably won't have long for this world anyway. So, uh, back to the next 12 months, so there'll be everyone no longer be here. Burgess Street here. John Lewis still here. They're actually moving at some point as soon as the new building's finished. There we are, Yorkshire Rock Parkway. This is the centre of Sheffield. It's all built it up, boarded up up there. Old hotel there. We're doing a lot of refurbishments and regeneration around here in the last couple of years or so. It's the centre of Sheffield. Another, another blight and uh, aspect of thuggery is uh, I've seen graffiti more than what you normally see. Probably the HSBC building there. I think that's a new building there as well. I think some thugs have seen it right to uh, do their rough start tagging, etc. Now, I'm not sure what's happening there, but I think that's probably another building that may well be going soon as well. So, well, there you are. The, section all that off as you can see that's probably about set 1970s I'd say and this building here well you never know complete with this new Grosvenor house here this is all new I think it was the old Grosvenor hotel which was knocked down here charge a roof down there isn't it mate sorry charge a roof down there is it is that right uh, the old hotel you see it's all new isn't it 
Yeah, trying to get my bearings right here. This look like, looks like it's all going to go. Um, so demolition probably in progress. I expect the gutting the building. Any asbestos or anything else have to be taken out first. They'll take out all the metal and everything else. But I have spoke to some of these people before, and uh, well, can't really plead that they preserve it, but uh, because of course it's all gone through and all signed and settled. But uh, this is all new down here. And towards the moor in Sheffield. Looks like it's all going to be gone here. Looks like a nice old building, but there we are. One of those things, I'm afraid, is a sad fact of life when perhaps it's going to be too expensive to refurbish or money talks, of course, with regard to new developments. Sheffield City Centre, and this is a new building to my left HSBC. Well, here we are, right in the heart of the redeveloped Charter Square here. If we look down, Debenhams here as well. You can also see some more work going on down on the right there. More offices. I'm sure they're building more accommodation and it looks like further demolitions are going to be taking place just behind this site, which is quite sad really since some of the buildings are well over 100 years old. So they've been doing that for quite a few years in Sheffield, I believe, knocking down old buildings. And why well, anybody knows this country, I know it's been happening since the 60s and 70s, just knocking down old buildings, modernization, which actually means they don't really last. And every 10 years you're rebuilding something new. So whereas the old buildings last, so very sadly, but certainly they're building a lot more accommodation retail units, in fact this will be retail units, they're not all going to be used by HSBC, or I presume have built it, certainly their name's on the other side. HSBC not occupying it yet here. Nice bit of greenery around here. Flora and fauna, here we are, main bus thoroughfare here down Charter Row. With the Devonhams across there, well who knows what's going to happen with them. be nice if they survive, but I'm sure with Mike Ashley what's going to happen, but certainly needs to think about perhaps products for the modern era as well and to get the young in, just like some of these other stores do. There we are, Sheffield City Centre. This is all new here. Not even finished yet around here. Some like the building's not occupied. See the building all work around here. Areas where perhaps you can see, are looking perhaps at new developments and perhaps refurbishing the buildings here. The old site of the old the Hotel here. Car park there it goes all the way over towards Devonshire Green, there, which has also been refurbished and modernised. Up towards the top there, West Street. Here we are, another area looks like maybe being redeveloped here in the centre of Sheffield. Just spoke to a local who said they knocked buildings down, but they build the new buildings all the same, so who knows. Ten years time, they're probably old fashioned. There we are. Find, find out more about your new city centre. There's a photograph here. See the peace gardens there. Well, wow. this is this section here. Around here, you can see the. Uh, well, for the impression of what they're hoping to do. Some of it's been knocked down. Well, Charter Square over here. That's the old Grosvenor Hotel, I believe, there. Oh, gone. This is this area here, I believe. Sheffield City Centre, where I'm standing here. Well, looks like this may not have long for this war Isle, this building here. There we are, new, dynamic and vibrant district at the heart of Sheffield. Well, there we are. So, looks like it seems to be one of a number of buildings and they've earmarked for demolition around here. Certainly some are boarded up and sectioned off for demolition. They got the demolition signs up, so I'm sure it's happening. So this building to the right here. There's a brand new building here, not occupied. This is a new building replacing the old Grosvenor Hotel. Grosvenor House, they're calling it. 
um, so keeping the old name. Also opening out to other people to rent retail space there, they won't need it all. But those buildings there I think probably are going. Very sadly, I think that probably goes about some point. And also behind there, well, that John Lewis, they're moving down the moor at some point when that's all finished, so that'll probably go as well. If it's interesting in architecture and preservation of old buildings, take note. Come back in 12 months, I might be all gone in two years' time, who knows? This has all been new here, renewed, regenerated. And there's another building there. Sadly, I think they're going to go. It's certainly got a lot more character than the modern buildings. And this building dates back to 1884, here in the centre of Sheffield. Well, as you can see the character building over there, there's no character at all. Doing a lot of work down the moor. Very sad, really. Make some lovely flats out of those. But there we are. Probably cost too much. I expect they. Well, money talks with these new developers. Probably could be coming from London or anywhere else. And probably won't care about character of old buildings. But certainly one worth preserving. Here in Sheffield. I don't live in Sheffield, but I've got a feeling they're probably going to redevelop all this area at some point. Certainly, when John Lewis moves, they're here to my right. So work going on there. Old pub there, the tap and tankard there. Take away next door. Well, looks like empty building there. And down through towards the new building there, Chad Square, HSBC there. Looks like these earmarked for demolition. Certainly that one down on the end there is, on the corner. Old Henry's building there. Sad because I think some of these are well over 100 years old. So there we are. Bad news for old architecture and preservation of character buildings here. Up towards Barker's Pool here. Pond Street here in Sheffield, the old post office, now part of the university here, being refurbished and they're doing a lot of work here at Fitzalan Square, as you can see, as I speak, not what's going on. The focal point being created here, they take the road out, you used to have the taxis parking here on the road going around, coming out round about here, as you can see, all change here, at Fitzalan Square here in Sheffield, not far. 
fact that uh, it's all boarded up there. I've got a feeling it won't just be that building. It's 
you go down further, it's all sectioned off down here as well. Looks like that building there is going above. And if we look slightly closer here, got a date on over 1884. So it's well over 100, well over 130 years old, 135 years old. So you'd think probably it's stood the test of time to be salvaged, but there we are, well, Sheffield City Council. Not sure they're making the right decision here. Probably gonna be gone in the next 12 months. See it's all section north there. Row. 
Sheffield City Centre. Here we are in Sheffield. Hanover Estate, we're doing a lot of works here. Hanover Estate here, as you can see. Made your flat refer here in Sheffield. Going down towards Eckes Hall Road. Eckes Hall Road here in Sheffield. Made housing area here. Reasonably nice flats as well. A lot of them have been done up over the last few years as well here in Sheffield. Here we are on Exor Road, you see a nice flat development there, more of what's going on across the road here opposite. Some Wetherspoons up there. Reminded of the old brewery that once stood over there, Ward's Brewery there, now Wetherspoons there. Quite a big Wetherspoons. Looking down, way towards across the road here. Here in the centre of Sheffield. Very few developments going on throughout the city. 